Hi everyone. Welcome back. Today in this video we are discussing a continuation of what we have seen in the previous video that is molecular orbital theory. So in the previous video we have seen the molecular orbital theory main concepts, the molecular orbital configurations of systems containing or different molecules containing up to 14 electrons and more than 14 electrons. So in this video we are going to the details of molecular orbital diagrams, MO diagrams of molecules containing up to 14 electrons. So MO diagrams along with calculation of their bond order, comparison of stability etc. So these things we are discussing in this video. So first of all let us see the molecular orbital configuration. Let us rewind the configuration we have already seen for up to 14 electron sigma 1 s 2 sigma star 1 s 2 sigma 2 s 2 sigma star 2 s 2 pi 2 p x 2 equals pi 2 p y 2 sigma star sigma 2 p z 2 pi star 2 p x 2 equals pi star 2 p y 2 and finally sigma star 2 p z 2. So I have put the number of electrons also because uh, as we know the maximum number of electrons possible in any orbital is 2. So this is the configuration for up to 14 electrons and we know for more than 14 electrons the difference is after sigma star 2 is this sigma 2 p z comes then only pi 2 p x and pi 2 p y. So let us take the example of hydrogen molecule to illustrate a more diagram. Okay, for hydrogen molecule, we know hydrogen atom is having a configuration, atomic configuration 1 s 1. So, a hydrogen molecule has 2 electrons. So, just 2 electrons. So, simply we can write the MO configuration of hydrogen molecule as sigma 1 s 2. We have only 2 electrons. So, that's, those 2 electrons goes to the lowest bonding molecular orbital sigma 1 s 2. Now, we can calculate the bond order. Bond order is nothing but the number of bonds present in a molecule. So it simply gives an idea about or it simply describes the number of bonds present in a molecule. That means if you are getting a bond order value 1, that means there is a single bond connecting the two atoms in the molecule. Similarly, if you take oxygen molecule, the bond order is 2 that indicates there is a double bond between the two oxygen atoms. So that is called bond order and it can be calculated by the equation bond order is equal to or it is half the difference between number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital to that in the anti-bonding molecular orbital. So first of all we have to write the MO configuration of the molecule. From the MO configuration you just write down how many electrons in bonding orbital and how many electrons in anti-bonding orbital and half the difference between number of electrons in bonding orbital to that in the anti-bonding orbital will give you the bond order calculation. Okay. So here let us calculate the bond order for hydrogen molecule. For hydrogen molecule as we know the configuration is sigma 1 s 2 there is only uh, one orbital filled that is sigma bonding orbital is filled. So number of electrons in bonding n b equal to 2 and n a is equal to 0. So bond order equals half into 2 that is 1. This means that there is a single bond connecting the two hydrogen atoms in the molecule. So based on this we can draw the MO diagram also the simplest MO diagram for hydrogen molecule because it contain only two electrons. So while drawing the MO diagram of any molecule certain things has to be remembered. First of all you have to show the energy line. Energy is increasing. Then down you have to show the atom symbols. We have hydrogen on either side we have two hydrogen atoms. So the oneness atomic orbitals of each hydrogen atom. It must be labeled and we know each hydrogen atom has one electron and this oneness and oneness combine 
by addition to give sigma 1s and by subtraction to give sigma star 1s. So a low energy sigma 1s and a high energy sigma star 1s. And the two electrons goes to the MO configuration. As per the MO configuration it is sigma 1s2. So the two electrons after bonding they goes to the bonding molecular orbital and the anti-bonding orbital remains vacant. So this is the MO diagram for hydrogen molecule. We can see from the diagram itself we can see we have two hydrogen atoms. They are one as atomic orbitals both are of same energy and this one as atomic orbital each has one electron and these two atomic orbital combined by addition to give a low energy bonding molecular orbital designated as sigma 1s and a high energy anti-bonding molecular orbital which is designated as sigma star 1s. And here since the bonding orbital is of stabilizing nature or it is of lower energy the two electrons after bonding will goes to the sigma 1s. So this is the MO diagram for hydrogen molecule. So simplest uh, molecule uh, we can take this hydrogen molecule and using the MO diagram we can explain the covalent bond formation of hydrogen molecule. Next we can take the example helium molecule. We know helium molecule does not exist or helium is a noble gas and noble gases have complete config, complete octet configuration or their valence configuration is complete and they need not combine or they exist in the monoatomic stage only. So still using MO theory we can illustrate this concept that is helium molecule does not exist. For that we can write the configuration of helium atom that is 1s2 and for helium molecule we have total 4 electrons. So for 4 electrons MO configuration will be sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2. Now the number of electrons in the bonding we know bonding molecular orbital contain 2 electrons anti bonding orbital also contain 2 electrons. So bond order will be half into 2 minus 2 that is 0. So here bond order comes out to be 0. That means there is no bond between the two helium atoms or the molecule does not exist. So the uh, bond order of any molecule will give you a direct interpretation of their stability. If the bond order is positive, the molecule is stable and will exist. If the bond order is 0 or negative, there is no existence of that molecule. Okay, so here it is clear from the equation that for a stable molecule number of electrons in the uh, bonding in the bonding molecular orbital should be greater than the number of electrons in the anti-bonding molecular orbital. Only in such a case there can have a positive value of bond order. Now let's take another example that is boron molecule. We know usually boron molecule does not exist. So in MO theory we can take any molecule, any theoretical molecule and we can see whether it exists or not. So for boron first of all we know the configuration, atomic configuration of boron is 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. It belongs to the 13th group and it has 3 electrons in the valence shell. So this is the configuration of one boron atom that is 5 electrons. So when we take B2 it contains 10 electrons. So for 10 electrons we can write the MO configuration as sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2. We have 2, 4, 6, 8. Two more electrons are to be filled. So the next energy level pi 2px equals pi 2py both are of same energy. So we have to singly occupy the electrons in each of the orbital as per Hans rule. We know uh, Hans rule states that pairing of electrons will not take place as long as there is a vacant orbital of the same energy. So this is the configuration. So we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 and 10 electron. Now we can calculate the bond order for that. We know number of electrons in bonding, bonding of electron we have 2, 4, 5, 6 
and number of electrons in antibonding two four. So bond order equals half into six minus four two. That is equal to one. That means there is a single bond connecting the two boron atoms. Now we can draw the MO diagram for this molecule. So while drawing the MO diagram, first of all we have to show the energy line. Energy is increasing. The two atom labels we have one is atomic orbitals each contain two electrons because we know the configuration of boron atom 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. They combine by addition to give sigma 1s, by subtraction to give sigma star 1s, each has to be labeled and the configuration, MO configuration we know it is sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2, pi 2px1 equals pi 2py1. So next is 2s. The 2s atomic orbitals combined by addition to give sigma 2s and combined by subtraction to give sigma star 2s. Each 2s atomic orbital has two electrons each. Likewise, molecular orbitals also has two electrons. Now we have next higher energy 2p. We have three 2p atomic orbitals. And the 2p atomic orbitals are singly occupied. Each 2p atomic orbital has one electron and we know there are total six atomic orbitals. As per MO theory, the number of molecular orbitals formed will be equal to the number of atomic orbitals combining. So here we get total six molecular orbitals. So that is six atomic orbitals combined to give six molecular orbital. Among the six, three will be bonding and the other three will be anti-bonding. And the bonding orbitals, we know the bonding orbitals are pi 2px equals pi 2py that is the order. Then we have sigma 2pz and correspondingly we have anti bonding pi star 2px equals pi star 2py and last we have sigma star 2p set and since we have one electron each from each of the 2p atomic orbital the configuration MO configuration is pi 2px1 equal to pi 2p y1 okay so this is the MO configuration of uh, boron molecule and in this case we can see the things to remember is we have to first show the atomic orbital configuration. Atom labels has to be there at uh, each orbital, atomic orbital as well as molecular orbital has to be labeled and their order of energy should be correct and their electron filling also should be as per the MO configuration. So this is the MO diagram for boron molecule. So next we can discuss the molecular orbital theory for nitrogen molecule. We know nitrogen molecule it is a 14 electron system. So nitrogen atom is having a configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Total 7 electrons in one nitrogen atom. So one nitrogen molecule means there are 14 electrons. So its MO configuration will be sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 pi 2p x2 equals pi 2p y2 2 4 6 8 10 12 we have two more electrons so it is sigma 2p z2 this is the mo configuration for nitrogen molecule now we can calculate the bond order for that 
we have to write number of electrons in bonding orbital and that in the anti bonding so in bonding orbital we have 2 4 6 8 and 10 electrons and in anti bonding we have 2 4 4 electrons so bond order equals half into 10 minus 4 that is 6 by 2 3 that means there is a triple bond connecting the two nitrogen atoms in a nitrogen molecule so higher the bond order higher will be the stability of the molecule so we have seen hydrogen helium molecule and b2 so in these cases when we compare bond order uh, will be higher for nitrogen molecule higher the bond order higher will be the stability of the molecule and higher will be the bond dissociation energy also because we know bond dissociation energy is the amount of energy required to break the bond so here since we have three bonds high energy is required to break the three bonds so we can say bond order is directly proportional to bond dissociation energy and also stability but it is inversely proportional to bond length bond length means we know if the bond is very strong the bond length will be very short so higher the bond order lesser will be the bond length and or in other words we can say bond order is directly proportional to stability of the molecule and directly proportional to bond dissociation energy but inversely proportional to bond length so now we can see the mo diagram for nitrogen molecule so let's see the mo diagram for nitrogen molecule for nitrogen molecule also we know this is up to 14 this is 14 electron system so up to this case we have one set of row so first of all you have to show the atom labels the atomic orbitals 1s they combine by addition to give sigma 1s and subtraction give sigma star 1s 1s atomic orbitals has 2 electron and the mo configuration sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 then we have 2s atomic orbitals combined by addition to give sigma 2s and by subtraction to give sigma star 2s2 next is 2p we have three orbitals in the 2p subshell 2px 2py 2pz and the 2p orbitals are having three electrons each they combine by addition to give three molecular orbitals lower energy we have pi 2px and pi 2py of identical energy then next is sigma 2p set and anti bonding pi star 2px equals pi star 2py and finally the highest energy one is sigma star 2p set and the mo configuration we know pi 2px2 equal to pi 2py2 sigma 2p set 2 so this is the mo configuration for nitrogen molecule so here also while drawing the mo diagram we have to show the atom labels atomic or, uh, orbital representation their electron filling molecular orbital should be labeled their electrons also should be correctly shown so this is the MO diagram for nitrogen molecule. In conclusion, we have discussed the molecular orbital configurations and MO diagrams of systems containing up to 14 electrons such as hydrogen molecule, helium, boron, nitrogen, etc. We can compare uh, their bond order, uh, bond dissociation energy, stability, bond length, etc. Knowing the bond order value. After calculating bond order, we can compare all these things and this is the essence of uh, the MO diagrams for systems containing up to 14 electrons. In the next video, we can discuss the MO diagrams of molecules containing more than 14 electrons. Hope you all understood this. If you have any questions, you can put it in the comment box. Thank you all.